All right, everybody. It is time for another story time with Jason, okay? So, today, we're going to do the second book. You like to look? That's right. Got my, my white boy Rick on. There you go. Either way, it is time for story time with Jason. So, oh, my Uncle Bobby always told me if you don't show the, the gold in the chest hair, you're not going to get the girls. So, you know how it is. A little bit of both, right? Either way. So, I was surprised that a bunch of you actually seemed to enjoy the video the other day. So, I figured I would don up my fly gear, like my friend Chad Young told me. Old Nebraska Chad's like, you should just dress like this. I'm like, yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should dress good. You know, let y'all see a little bit of the, the big sexy that is me, right? Either way, I guess we should probably get this thing going. So... After yesterday's story, Jason tries cocaine. I said, fuck it, I should do another one. Why not, right? So I did one. And this one is a moral that we, all of us men, we learn the hard way, okay? This is the hunt for the big booty hoe. Now we're all guilty. Nice girls, good girls, they come along. We're like, yeah, I like that. I like this too. This girl's great. She cooks. She's great in bed. She's a wonderful person. All this and that. Yes, yes, yes. But then, then the big booty hoe walks by and you're like, God damn, you see that ass? Well, I figured many of us have fallen victim to this. Far too many of us. And then I figured what better way to do it than write a not so children's book about the big booty hoe. Yeah, that's right. You know I'm sexy. Got my leopard print on. So, without further ado, let us talk about the big booty hoe. The book is called Jason Learns About Big Booty Hoes. So, let's get this going, huh? All right. Obviously, here is page one. Jason Learns About Big Booty Hoes. See the necklace? A little bit of resemblance, huh? There you go, right? That's cool. Page one. Jason is not much different than every other man. Oy vey, I'm a lot like you. Oh, I said it in a fucking voice, but either way. Page two. There we go. Like all men, Jason loves the ladies. Look at those tits. There you go, so she's stripping, dancing for that money, you know, Chica's Bonita style. Gotta love it. Mavericks if you're in Sioux City, right? Just kidding, Mavericks, kind of gross, but so Chica's Bonitas. All right, now, page three of the book. Like all men, Jason likes Latin women, black women, white women, and even Asian women. Asian women are a little bit small for me, but either way, I do like them. Every girl is beautiful, so... Look at that ring. Oh, that bling. Page four. Okay. Yet despite hooking up with countless girls. There we go. Come on. There we go. Despite hooking up with countless girls. There was one Jason hadn't had much. And there was one that Jason hadn't had. And this made him sad. Look at me. I'm so sad. Woe is me. He'd hooked up with countless girls. <gasps> the question mark. Ladies all would look at him with wonder. Jason is a god in the bedroom. What could he and all men really want? What it is that, what is it that all men really want? Actually, what is it what all men really want? I don't think we know. I doubt it. Either way, page six. This is what we all want. Bam! Jason wanted a big booty hoe with the the donk a donk, donk a donk. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Page seven. This is kind of funny. <laughs> Yet despite having the house, the car, stacks of cash, jewels, and even gold teeth, he couldn't get a big booty hoe. Look at those gold teeth. 
Okay, so I actually don't have my gold teeth in right now because regardless of what anybody says, a grill will give you a little bit of a lisp. It's kind of fucked up, but hey, they look cool though. I look good when I goes out. All right, page eight. There we go. On a one day while on a dating site, Jason found what it was that he was looking for. Fitlife.com. Find a hoe. Find a freak. There's some freaks on that shit, believe me. I can tell you stories, but I won't. Not right now. Maybe that'll be another book. Page nine. Ooh, Jason met a big booty hoe named Nikki. I got more ass than a donkey. Yeah, nothing about that. But you got to realize, if you got to get a big booty hoe, you got to have a decent sized dick. You can't have a fucking four inch dick. And 12 inches of ass. You eight inches shoot. Okay. Page 10. Now that that's done. Jason took Nikki on an expensive date to Casa de Amore in hopes of her pant dropping her panties. This bitch is so fine. I'm going to eat steak tonight. Casa de Amore. If you're ever in Las Vegas, I'm going to be real with you. Casa de Amore is the shit. If you go on a date to Casa de Amore and you bring a girl there, Odds are that her panties will probably drop before they actually, the meal's even done. They've got people playing jazz. They've got bomb-ass food. Mondays and Tuesdays, it's the Jewish way. Ugh. They've got half-price wine and half-price wine. You go there, get your sip on, the atmosphere. If you take a girl there, or if you're a girl and you take a guy there, which would be kind of odd. It's kind of expensive, but either way, if you take a girl there and you don't get laid... You have no game. The restaurant guarantees that you should be able to hook up. So if you don't, blame yourself, blame God, whatever you want to blame. Last restaurant of a Dutch man is to blame God, but go for it. Fuck it. Either way, back to the book. Page 11. There we go. When Jason got back to the crib, he got his wish. The panties dropped. Look at the size of that booty. She's even got a whip. She's like, hey, you found her on Fat Life. Fat Life freaky stuff. So she's a freak, which is kind of cool. Hey, no matter what a freak. Now, page 12. Look at the smile. Jason was ecstatic. That is great fortune. He won the big booty lottery. Look at that smile. You know that's cool. Look at hey, big booty lottery. I won it before. Well, I won it once or twice. But either way. That's not the moral of the story. So let us keep going with page 13. This is what happens far too often. Jason was in shock. Nikki was terrible at sucking cock. What's up with all these damn teeth? Here we go, page 14. Even the pussy was not... <laughs> Even the pussy was not only lame as fuck, but loose as a goose. Damn, I may as well be fucking a dead body. Hit that ass, daddy. Oh, shit. Morals of the stories are getting scarier, huh? Well, we shall see what happens next, shall we not? Either way, page 15. Boom. After Nikki went home, Jason sat lost and confused. Everything that he had been led to believe was a lie. My whole world is upside down. Look at that face. He's all confused. He's lost. What's going on? What's going on? Page 16. The next day. The next day, Jason woke up to a phone call. Check that out. We got the naked girl on there. The shitty bed. That's pretty much my room. You know, I'll be real. Page 17. After his phone call, at his phone call, he's heard, Daddy, I'm a little bit low on the rent. Oh, can you get me a new coach bag? I also need some new clothes. See this? I'm going to get this fool. I'll use the power of the booty. Now, the power of the booty is real. Many a man has fallen to the booty. I have been victim myself at one point. But either way, let us go to the next page. We're almost done with this cautionary tale. 
Bam! Page 18. Man, this bitch wants everything. The pussy in the head weren't even that good. What the fuck? Why does it burn so bad when I'm taking a leak? Uh-oh, what could have happened? Probably should have wrapped it up. Maybe that should be a book right there. Wrap it up. Page 19, the final page. And then we will have a summary. Bam! In the end, Jason's big booty hoe gave him the clap and herpes, not to mention cost him hella money. The moral of the story is, stay away from the big booty hoes. Look at the doctor says, dude, these are huge herpes, and you have the clap. <sighs> so, what is the moral of the story? Look at that shining bling. The story, the moral of the story is that while that nice girl you meet, she may be cool, she may be sweet, and all that, and you're like, I just want something more. I just want a big booty hoe. Well, sadly, often big booty hoes come at a price. That price is often not worth what you want to pay. Some of them will give you the clap. Some of them will give you herpes. Some of them will be lame in bed. Other ones, well... They'll just give terrible head. In the end, I guarantee one thing will happen. They will take your money. All your money. All your money. So, the moral of the story is men, or even women who may be into women, kind of hot, whatever, whatever floats your boat, stay away from those big booty hoes. For what you're going to get is never, ever what you wanted. Well, you'll get what you wanted. It just won't be what you really wanted. All right. So this will conclude story time with Jason once more. We'll see if we maybe write another book. I'll give it a couple days. You know, what the hell? Maybe I'll be like, yeah, I'm down to write. Because in Corona Mania, in Casa de Quarantine, Casa de Jason, I ain't got shit to do. So I might as well write lovely books and share them all with you. As always, you can buy my shit on Amazon, motherfuckerdiz.com. And I got a whole bunch of shit here that's autographed, and I'll send it to you. Just DM me and all that shit. Don't DP, just DM me. And with your, all, that, all your information, and we will talk about billing and shipping. All right. All right, everybody. Later.